Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Steve AK here with another Fallout 4 video. So today I'm going to bring you two builds in one video that are ideally suited to Fallout 76 and Fallout 4. More so Fallout 76 is what I was aiming this at. <clears throat> um, so what we are building today are defense towers or defense posts. Um, the first one that you see here is three stories high and yeah it's it's, th it's three stories high it's got a, a bedroom on the bottom it's got storage in the middle and then it's got your defense part at the top um so uh it's made out of scaffold and wood mostly mix up some materials it should be for the most part easy enough to build and quite um, light on your resources and then for people that find this slightly daunting the other one in this build is another defense tower um, slash post where I'm saying more post on this where it's slightly off the ground um, I would say like by a foot and it's it's got the same thing but all on one level so as you can see already I've kind of built a box around the base part which could be the bedroom area and then I'm going to create a spiral, if you can see my air quotes there, staircase that wraps around the top that takes you all the way up. I'm building it with scaffolding. Now I'm fully aware from what I've seen of building footage and footage in general that the resources side of stuff and even get even having the building materials available like your stairs, your walls, your lights, everything is hard. You you actually have to go through quests to unlock it. You have to find vendors to buy it with caps, which obviously caps are hard at the beginning of the game. So I am going to base my channel mostly around building, especially Fallout 76. But when I've got an idea that's not executable straight away for Fallout 76 due to the resource side of stuff until you know I'm well into the game I've got enough caps I've got enough schematics found all that stuff I'll just use Fallout 4 as the base but the parts I'll use in the video will obviously be representative of what's available in Fallout 76 so I'll kind of mix the two together I'll also not stop making Fallout 4 content I mean, when I just want to sit back, chill, give you guys a massive, um, you know, hassle-free video of a nice build or I've been asked something on Twitter, you know, can you help me with this? I'll help anybody out, I'll, you know, I'll help anybody out I can via using Fallout 4. Um, it's, I mean, they're both built off the same engine. There's new, I mean, the building parts that are available in 76, I can also add into Fallout 4 Vita mods and stuff. So it's not like you're going to see a massive discrepancy in either thing. Um, they're very unique in their DNA. And uh, also very same. So I will be using both. Um, so I know that I've had the odd comment, oh my god, it's clickbait, this in Fallout 76. No, it's not. Fallout 76 that I'm using, but what I am building and using within Fallout 4, you can use in Fallout 76. So I just thought I'd set everyone straight on that. Anybody that's upset with that or whatever, I do apologise. You don't have to watch the video, but everyone that does watch the video, that does show support, you know, thank you so much. Welcome to the AK Army. So, um, as we're going, as I was rambling there, um, what I've done is I've built the the base layer of the defense tower. I've put a set of stairs up using scaffolding stairs. I've used scaffolding itself, I've used the scaffold flooring, and I'm using wooden railing all the way up. Um, so that's the second part. This took me around an hour to an hour and a half to put up. Now that is only because I had to work out what parts I was going to use. I was trying to stick specifically to wood and metal if I could, because I know the early part of um, Fallout 76 is that's the kind of materials you're going to be you know stuck with that's the schematics you may have found or been given so I try to stick to that as possible so it's easy to replicate this but 
you know, if this is too much for someone, then, you know, like I said, I do have another one in this video where it should be an easier build to copy. So this is the top layer now. Um, I think this is probably the better build of the two, personally, just because you get a high elevation, which will be great for any PvP or whatever in Fallout 76. You always have the upper hand. Um, also, note that this is just a, you know, a rough you know, this is how I did it type thing, whereas you can completely alter it yourself. I mean, maybe some people find the bed on the bottom a bit risky. You know, maybe someone will come in and PvP the mother sleeping or something, if it's even possible in 76. Um, and they want to move it to the midsection. That's absolutely fine. They can put it into the mid-level, no problem. And um, Maybe they want the guard tower lower down. That's okay too. Um, maybe they want some of the cooking stations and all that around the outside of the bu building at the bottom so it's easy to access rather than having to climb all the way to the top which you'll see in the videos where I put it. Um, so yeah, the, this, these buildings are really easy to all our change and flick around. Um, I Also the, for the same reasons of having low resources in Fallout 76 when you start, I've used a three powered generator with the the conduit that's on the edge, on a on a stick I can't remember what they call it pylon small pylon I think um so I think the resources are pretty much the same you know in both games so everything I've built should be super easy to replicate um so yeah I'm just placing the stairs in now weirdly enough this build is actually just coming up to a finish and then we'll take you the tour of this one and then we'll go to the next one. I mean, I, ideally I want to use wooden stairs, but I couldn't find ones long enough. Hopefully Fallout 76 has wooden stairs so you can just switch the metal for the wood. <clears throat> but yeah, here we go. I'm just looking around now. Yeah, I, I switched the stairs at the bottom because they, they're really narrow. Although I was trying to save space, I kept falling off the edge. Because there's a little gap where you can't place a railing at the top of the platform, so I switched it. So here we go. Um, as you can see, that's the the whole tower done. So here's the bottom level with the bed and some of your brick back where you can just quickly walk in. You can have a sleep and then you can leave and go amongst the West Virginian countryside again. Quick and easy. Um, first, so we'll go up to the next level, first floor, open the door, and, and here we have all our storage stuff. So you know you could put your, um, your stash trunk in here. I've also put a little workbench in there. I mean this is a one tile or um, the, the four small ones wide and long so you know guard tower, you can have all your guns scattered around, a little cooking station, a little set around where you can play your music and all that so really easy, really nice and effective. So I'm just showing you the kind of space you've got kind of view you could end up with. I mean the views will be the same if not better obviously because you have more countryside, less um, less nuclear. So we'll go over to our cooking station now. As you can see plenty of space works like a dream. So yeah here I am just making a few bits and then we will go on to the next one. <clears throat> Yep, there's that view once again. And I will take you down to the bottom of this now and we will go right round it. So you can see the kind of it's not very big at all either. It's like I said, it's it's for the small wooden tiles or it's one of the big ones wide and long. Three high, and then you've got a little bit of scaffolding sticking out. I mean the scaffolding could be narrower. You know, you could have one wide the whole way around. But I want a platform on top, so I just made it too wide. So, you know, it doesn't take up much space at all. It's absolutely perfect. Should fit in nicely. Now, here's the second one. Now, I thought about initially dunking it straight on the ground and, you know, just putting all the stuff around it. But then I, th then I um, thought and remember reading or watching someone say that mattresses placed on the ground in Fallout 76 have give you a higher chance of getting disease and I thought for this build we'll, we'll combat that slightly we'll have a little bit of scaffolding I mean you could use anything you could 
I mean, I don't know what other kind of foundations that they have. You could, you know, you could use a concrete foundation. There you go, or you can use the wooden one with the the wooden struts and all that underneath it. Raise it like by a foot, so it's just off the ground. And there you go. You've got a little bit of a home defense area off the ground. Should risk your chance of not getting diseases. Hopefully, uh, it's what they mean. I'm hoping. It, they don't mean that the moment you slap a mattress on a hard surface, whether it's touching the physical ground or not, would affect you. But I thought I'd kind of try and combat that by making this guard post slightly off the ground. So as you can see, technically that should have snapped in place. And I'm pretty sure I've seen a video of in Fallout 76 where that guard post does snap onto the floor. But for some reason, I couldn't get it to snap, so I've left a little gap and just put a plank in the way. So this is the first version. There's two versions of this I'm going to show you. So this is the first version where there's a couple of warehouse floors on the outside. You can put bed, couch, your storage trunk, a little table with a lamp on it, and there you go. And then you've got your little guard post at the front where you can stand and look out and whatever. Um, you could also just put a couple of seats around for your, your musical needs, like playing your banjo and stuff. Um, there's also the, the accessibility to this small post um, that you can put your cooking station and maybe even an armor workbench or whatever on the outside of the building. So it's still close to you, it's still well defended, but you've still got a little bit of extra room to work around. So yeah, here we go. I'm going to scrap all this now. Well, store it. And then what I'm going to do is give you a roof over your head with the next bit. I'm going to use a, a, side, a side wall that's got the roof and part wall on it and then put two end caps on. So here we go, we slap them both on. This is my preferred one, but obviously it's it comes down to resources, it comes down what people prefer. You know, some people just want a quick guard post, go in, done. You know, sleep, eat, then I'm off out questing again. So I'm just going to put the table, the lamp, the couch and the bed and all back in. And then we will be coming up to the tour of this. So yeah, I, I hope this helps everyone. I think it's, it's quite handy. you got two guard posts. Um, this one I also show you in a minute. An added extra where you can put some turrets on the outside for extra defence. For um, any enemies that may be coming your way or whatever. So yeah, I'm just going to finish up here. I'm going to put the power generator in. I flip it around because I don't like the smoke spitting at my face. We obviously want it facing out, not want it wafting in our little cabin. So yeah, that's a little defense cabin here with a small amount of power. Only took a three power generator. So yeah, there it is. All the way around, looking good. So here we are. Um, I was initially going to use some scaffold pieces for the floor and then just stick a turret on top. But I thought, you know, maybe scaffolding would be available. Yeah, I've used a lot of scaffolding in this video already. Let's change it. So here we are. A couple of tables that use a little, like one steel, three wood, and then you just dunk your turrets on top. There you go. Your turrets are off the ground and they're defending you. Um, it gives it this nice, you know, um, I'm surviving in the wilderness feel too. So there you go. Bang. So here we go, coming up to the tour now. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, straight after this tour here, I will be doing a tour um, of both of them at night. So if you'd like to see that, um, stay tuned. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. I appreciate your support so much. Um, I hope everyone's enjoying the beta. And I hope everyone enjoys Fallout 76 when it comes out. I'll hopefully have another couple of videos coming soon. So stay tuned for that. And I will catch you all next time. Steve 8K signing off.